Hello everyone, in this Red Hat OpenShift DevSpaces demo, I will show an example of editing a dev file to configure your development environment. A dev file is a YAML file that describes a containerized development environment for your specific project. The project that we'll be looking into for today's demo is this Quarkus project. In the root directory of the project, we have a dev file already here. Within this dev file, we've declared the environment variables, uh, containers we need for development, endpoints as well as a list of commands that are commonly used by developers so commands to build the application build the image run tests etc for more details about this project this project has five endpoints that manages these food resources and these food resources are being stored inside of a postgresql database However, within our dev file, we did not declare this PostgreSQL database component at all. So going back to the dev file, the two containers that we declare here, um, in this image, we don't have PostgreSQL, and also in this image, we don't have PostgreSQL as well. So let's work on that. Let's clone, or let's um, create a workspace with this project, and let's edit the dev file and introduce the PostgreSQL dependency. Going into the DevSpaces dashboard, I will create a workspace by entering the git URL and pressing create and open. So as our workspace starts, we can look into the pods view of the OpenShift console. I'm in my user namespace and we can see the workspace pod is uh, it's now running. So examining the workspace pod, we can see a list of containers that is currently running in our workspace. And we do see our our two containers that were defined in the dev file. So the tools and UBI minimal, which matches the which matches the definition in the dev file, tools and UBI minimal. So going into the workspace itself, so we are using the VS Code editor and we can see that our workspace or our project rather has been cloned at the side right here. I will open the dev file and I will add another component for the PostgreSQL database image. So now that I've provided the component as well as the environment variables that I need to run this project with, I will open up the terminal inside one of my tooling containers and I will commit this change and push it to my GitHub repository. Okay, I've pushed the repository. So now let's create a new workspace with the updated dev file that I've just pushed. Going back into the dashboard, I will stop the current workspace, and I will create a new workspace against. Uh, I will create a new workspace with the new branch. I will copy the URL and create the workspace the same way as before. We can go into the OpenShift console once more, and now we'll see that once we go into the workspace pod, our PostgreSQL container is now in our workspace. So when we run our application within our workspace, we can connect to this PostgreSQL dependency. Now to run our application and test that our application will run, because now we have the PostgreSQL dependency, I will open the command palette, run task, and run one of our tasks defined in our dev file. So we had the start development mode task already here, and I will run this task. So this is essentially running a Maven goal to run our application. And we'll see here that when we run this command, we are not downloading any Maven artifacts. This is because I've already set up a PVC 
that mounts to all new workspaces. And within this persistent volume, I already have the Maven artifacts required to run our application. So going back, we're not downloading any Maven artifacts and we should just be able to run our application without, without that. We get a notification that helps us access our application now that it's running. I'll press open in a new tab. And we can see that our application is up and running. So we are accessing the food endpoint, which returns all of the food items within our PostgreSQL database. And we do see all of our food items right here coming from the database. So this confirms that the PostgreSQL database that we've added to our workspace pod is, is working properly and our application is able to connect with it and get the food resources and display it to, to the user. So this concludes this DevSpaces demo and this example showed that dependencies needed for development, in this case the PostgreSQL database, can be available within the workspace pod by adding new components into the dev file so that when you run your application within the workspace, you'll be able to have the dependencies that you need. Thank you for watching.